Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 49 of my FIFA 16, my player career on the Xbox One. And this is a new season, of course. We started off the opening day of the season against Stuttgart at home, where we did get the three points. And then we travelled to Borussia Dortmund, where we actually drew 0-0. So we are unbeaten, but we need to get back to winning ways and battle for the top spot. We want to try and go as long as possible unbeaten. And of course, the main aim is to be champions for the third year in a row. Now let's get back to winning ways today at home then against Hoffenheim. That ball crossed in, bounced off the back of the defender's head there, but thankfully for Hoffenheim. It went straight into the goalkeeper's hands and he throws it out short to Voland. So no early action. Half an hour played, still goalless. Bernat infield to Kai. Kai loses the ball there to Amiri. But thankfully, Bernat wins it back for Bayern Munich. Now Philip Lahm. Rafina plays it to Robin. Kai's in the middle. He's got some space. Receives the ball from Aguero. Now Kai plays a through ball to Kennedy. Kennedy puts it into the back of the net. And 35 minutes gone. It's Bayern Munich 1. Hoffenheim 0. And there we go. Back in front. That's the way we like it. Good attacking play there by Bayern Munich. Kai with the assist too, which is always what we want to do. He had the vision to see Kennedy make the run. He was asking for it, and Kai gave it him. And a nice finish in the end at that near post. First goal of the season then for Kennedy in the Bundesliga. Ten minutes before half time. So into the second half we go. Just over an hour gone. Still 1-0 in front. And we do win that ball back. Rafina winning it, giving it to Bernat. Now Kai. I don't know if you notice, but Kai doesn't push forward as much as he used to since joining here at Bayern Munich. But he's running all the way forward now. And that's through to Aguero. Aguero makes it to great finish by him. And I think that's his first goal of the season as well. And he runs over to the corner to celebrate with the fans. Kai played it through. He just come off the defender. And there is Sergio Aguero smacking it into the back of the net. Doubling Bayern Munich's lead. 2 0 will lead now. And it is indeed his first goal of the season. 66 minutes played. And it should be game over, to be honest. Less than 15 minutes to play. Corner comes in, headed away. Good defending. But Bayern Munich with possession again. Sebastian Road. Kai's in space. He gives it to Kai. Kai skips past one. Keeps the ball. Where's he going? Twisted and turning. Doesn't know which way to go. He's carried on his run in the middle. Kennedy crosses. And Bailey. He tried to knock it on to Kai. I don't know why he tried to do that. He could have just headed it into the back of the goal there. But the cross comes in again. Hamas Rodriguez to Kai Kwam. And finally, Kai gets his first goal of the season. And he goes to take out Rodriguez there with his celebration. Double kick to the face. Goalkeeper not happy. Zoet's number one for Hoffenheim. But we're going to take that. It's a great cross by Hamas Rodriguez. And there, just with his header, got in there before the defender and the goalkeeper. Kai scoring his first Bundesliga goal of the season. Not sure what kind of tally we should make for Kai for goals scored this season. But as long as we can get to double figures, I think that's the bare minimum that we should be going for. And we're just waiting for the final whistle to blow. And it will be another three points back to winning ways as well for Bayern Munich. I think this win might put us top of the table, depending on the other results. Uh, it will be our second win of the season. Our seventh point. There is the final whistle. Nice 3-0 win there for Bayern Munich at home in front of the home fans. 100% record so far at home. Not conceded a goal either, which is always good. And we're going to change our boots as well. I've been wearing the current boots for quite a while. I'm not sure what to go for. I'm always a big fan of Nike. Um, Tiempos. What colours? Sh we should go for something which is probably all red, to be honest. Going with our kit. But maybe we should just change that up. Those Pumas are not too bad. I do like those ones. Evo Power. 1.2 is that? No, still got. Oh, they're actually locked, so we can't use those ones. Umbro. Not a big fan of Umbro or Under Armour. Apologies. And then we've got the standard EA boots there as well. Let's go back up the top. And uh, Puma. Yeah, those ones are locked. Naki Tiempos. Could go for one of these. Or the Mercurials. They're the current ones that we've got. The black, black, pink. Nike Magista, I do like the blue ones, actually. Uh, all blue, I think we're going to go for the double blue ones. And we're going to wear them for our first game for England. 
It says, European Championship qualifiers at Wembley Stadium in our brand new boots. Will they have any effect? Will we grab ourselves a goal? Will we even grab an assist? Hopefully we can. Beating the Russians at Wembley, always a nice thing to do. But here is Kite, pushing forward in his new boots. Oh, look at him, just powering his way all the way through. And what's happened there? Have we got a free kick? No? Russia got a free kick? How's that even possible? I don't know. But Wayne Rooney stealing that free kick. And it goes back into Akinfi's possession. Unlucky. So into the second half. It's been a quiet game here at Wembley Stadium. The fans are quiet as well. Not much action for either side. But hopefully we can still win it later on. Wayne Rooney making a challenge. Trying to win possession for England. Trying to make something happen later on in this game. And Kai does steal the ball. He has got a yellow card, which he put took earlier in the game. Theo Walcott plays it to Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney, oh, great challenge there by the Russian defender. He was just powering up there to take the shot, and it probably would have gone into the back of the net. But what a sliding challenge that was in the last second. And it still remains. A goal is here at Wembley Stadium. Akin Thieve clearing the ball. Ten minutes to play. And it's Russia on the attack. Kai sliding. He's got to be careful. He's already on the yellow card. He doesn't want to get red carded here uh, at Wembley. And that one is just offside. So free kick it's going to be to the three Lions. James Milner has come on in place of Matty James. And Jack Wilshire gives it to Kyle Walker. Kai trying to work his way into some space. Good play here by Kyle Walker. The cross comes in. And there, what a finish that is by Theo Walcott. But it's not going to count. Unfortunately, he's just offside. Five minutes to go. And what a finish that would have been if it had counted. Theo Walcott with the acrobats. And we've still got a minute to go. Still looking for this winning goal. If he plays it through, he does. Kai plays it through. Theo Walcott misses his shot. Good defending there by Russia. And it looks like this one is going to end goalless. He had a couple of chances. One of them was offside. Goal disallowed. And a late chance there as well. But it looks like it is indeed. The final whistle blows. England nil, Russia nil here at Wembley Stadium. But it is a point in the European Championships. And hopefully a point towards qualification for the tournament in the summer. Or no, it won't be in the summer, will it? It'll be two years away. Because we just finished the World Cup. So we've got two years. That is the first qualifying game then, I believe. And next up for England is the big derby, Wales versus England. We are away from home, so hopefully we can defeat Wales, not just because it's uh, European qualifiers, but because they're one of our main rivals. And here is Kai Kwon then. He didn't have a great first game in his new boots. Hopefully today is a little bit better. Stealing the ball there off Danny Sturridge. Danny Sturridge sees Kai in some space, but there so too did Paul. And Paul gets the ball clear to Williams. Couple of wounds there in the Welsh squad. Now Davis. Not sure if Gareth Bale's playing. I've not seen him yet. I'm, I'm sure he will be. Yeah, but it's single in the possession right now. They're looking to push forward on his near side with uh, Rodriguez. And he gives it to Kai. Rodriguez carried on his run, but that pass goes just behind him. And Aaron Ramsey gives it to Vokes. Now Williams has lost the ball actually to Kai. Kai with a nice sliding challenge gives it to Oxley Chamberlain. Chamberlain with a shot that was intercepted. But there's Danny Sturridge. He gets the overhead kick and he bounced in the inside of the post. Kai will probably get the assist for that goal as well. And a nice finish in the end from Daniel Sturridge, giving England the one goal lead. And hopefully we can hold on and get the three points in the European Championship qualifiers. And hopefully we can grab another goal or two as well. First goal for him for England for a while. So into the second half we go. Kai again picking up another yellow card. That's the second in two games for England. And for Kai. But here he is in possession. Looking to attack on this near side. He gives the ball to Chamberlain. Chamberlain's got one coming across towards him. The manager has told us to park the bus. But we're still pushing forward. Looking for a second. Surely this is going to be the second. Oh Kai decided to tee up Rooney was it. Now, I'm not entirely sure who it was. I think it was Rooney, but he should have took it on himself and took the shot. Uh, Chamberlain, he's got some space. Tried to get the cross in, but Williams came across and wins the ball for Wales. Aaron Ramsey plays inside. Into the final 10 minutes of this match. Wales on the attack. Kai chasing, trying to win possession. And again, he does win it this time. The run is on. He gives it through to Wayne Rooney. If Rooney can, he's getting forced out wide, but Kai's in the box. Is he going to ask for the cross? Wayne Rooney just wasting some time in that corner. 
Gets across now in towards Kai. Oh, nice little turn there from Kai Kwame. He shoots. Oh, he's at the post and cleared away by McDonald. A great chance for Kai Kwame to make it 2-0 to England. But the post saves Wales. And have they got a chance here to counter-attack and equalise late on? It's Henley for the for Wales. He gets the ball forward. Good interception. And there is the final whistle then. England take the points. Oh, no, it's not the final whistle. Sorry. It's a free kick, it is. There's going to be a late substitution, actually. So Wales still have a chance in this game. I thought the final whistle was blown, but it's a free kick comes in. Oh, is it the woodwork? And get it away. Please get it away. And there is the final whistle. Whew. That was very close indeed. Wales with a free kick in the last minute. And the woodwork denied him. England take the three points. And Kai still a little bit fatigued after that international break. So he's going to be missing the first game back for Bayern Munich, which is a away match against Werder Bremen. Can we keep our 100% record? We can. Well, not 100% because we drew against Dortmund, but at least we're still unbeaten. And a nice three points there. Sergio Aguero scoring after 14 minutes, giving Bayern Munich the three points. So Spartak Moscow next up for Brussia. Sorry, I keep saying Brussia Dortmund. It's actually Bayern Munich. We know who we play for. And it is the Champions League, of course. Let's go out and get the victory if we can. We've won every game at home so far this season. Long may that continue. It is Spartak Moscow who get this game on the way. They're playing in their red and white kit. And by Munich, behind by Munich in their all red, of course. There is Tasky. Plays the ball forward through the middle. Nice ball over the top if he's going to get to it. It is, but Kai picks up that loose ball. Now, Hamas Rodriguez to Kai. Kai down to the wing for Kennedy. He's going to try and power forward past this last man, but good defending there by Spartak. And eventually, it will be cleared away. So, 23 minutes on the clock. Still goalless. By Munich. Oh, pressurising. Trying to win possession. Trying to force an error. Robin almost did there. And Kai... Does win possession twice there. Cut inside. Give it to him. He does. He gives it to Aguero who misses. How did he miss from there? Sergio Aguero probably had time. Uh, more time than he thought. But he decided to slide in. And just wide of that far post. Unlucky. But a good chance for Bayern Munich to take that lead. So we're still in this first period. And it's still goalless. Spartak Moscow surprisingly have had more possession. But Kennedy with the cross. Goalkeeper gets down low and holds on to that one. In the last minute of this first half. Is there going to be any late drama in this first period? Here's Kai. Plays it through. Robin. Aguero. Kai's carried on his run. Aguero gives him the ball. Kai skips past the last defender and shoots near post. And he scores. Giving Bayern Munich the lead in the last minute of the first half. And what a great time to score as well. They always like to score just before half time. That was low. Near post. Goalkeeper should have had that one. Should never be beaten there. But you know what FIFA 16 is like. There's a good ball as well from Aguero. Nice little skip as well from Kai. And a nice cool finish. That's his second goal of the season. First in the Champions League. So into the second half we go. Still one goal in front. Spartak Moscow in possession. Attacking on the far side. And we do win it. Yes, we've won ourselves a, uh, a throw in. Which Rafina is going to take. Throws it towards Robin. Robin heads it on. Gets the ball back from Isco. He's got some space in front of him. He hasn't quite got the legs. So Kai picks up that loose ball. And he's got some space. And he scores the second of the game. That's his second of the game as well. Just over 20 minutes to play. And it's by minute two. Spartak Moscow nil. I don't think Robin actually meant to give that ball to Kai. But it, thankfully Kai carried on his run and picked it up. And we're into the final couple of minutes of this game. And we are going to have the three points in the group stage. And we don't want to concede late on. Good control, good shot as well. Just wrong side of the post for him. And that should be game over now. Just going to wait for that final whistle to blow. It will be three points for Bayern Munich. A nice 2-0 win. And Neuer is going to kick this one short. I thought he was going to smack it upfield, which Rafinha actually does. And Spartak Moscow do win possession in midfield. Come on, ref, blow that whistle. Let's have these three points. And we can look forward to the next episode with some more victories. Hopefully there it is. Nice three points for Bayern Munich and 2-0 win.
I hope you enjoyed the video guys, be sure to smash that like button if you did, leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also connect with me over on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all my links are below in the description. So thanks again for all of your support and I'll see you in the next video.